who of you are considering StarNet for hacking? Nobody's considering StarNet for hacking? What's up? <laughs> I, I want to tell you something very, very interesting, that a lot of hackers come and uh, they, they build something on EVM-compatible networks, so they can aim for several prices. But you know, I was talking with the scroll guys, and they received 70 submissions, stuff like that. You know how many submissions we receive in StarNet? Five, for four prices. So that's that's very usual. So if you if you want to maximize your chances of winning a prize, I think StarNet is a good a good option. We have 10k for four different prizes, and we usually receive between three to six submissions. So there's a high chance that if you have with StarNet, you can maximize your your chance of earning some some prize. And also, you can be one of these hackers that are out actually staying in the blockchain ecosystem. So basically, this table is the number of, of full-time developers that are in different networks, blockchain networks, and it's very bad. Ethereum lost a lot of developers, Polkadot, Cosmos, Bitcoin, whatever you want, except for StarNet. StarNet is only winning developers, so we are more and more and more and more. So again, you want to win a prize today, you have a good chance with StarNet. This is by the developer report. It's a report by Electric Capital. So if you want to win a prize today, you have a good chance with StarNet. Why? Because there are not a lot of submissions. Second, you can be one of these developers that are actually uh, pushing the blockchain right now. So everybody is losing developers except for StarNet, who that is actually winning some developers. So feel free more, more than welcome to come. And yeah, also something that is not very known is that StarNet has the biggest number of developers overall from all the layer twos. So, so, so yes. What what this shows is that StarNet is not that hard to use. Kyrie is not that hard to use. We have more. We have a lot of developers more than the other EVM compatible options. So yeah, if they can do it, I think that you can do it, no problem. And uh, basically, you know what we're doing. We are a layer two, so we're trying to to make as cheap and as fast as possible Ethereum. But at the same time, we also provide options that are not available in the EVM ecosystem, like native account abstraction. So it's something that I think if you build something with account abstraction, which is not that difficult, and it's very cool, you have a nice chance of winning a prize. So what we have is uh, basically what account abstraction you can do. Who knows what account abstraction is here? Okay, who has coded something with account abstraction before? Okay, perfect. So a construction in StarNet is very, very simple. You, you, you need to implement these two different functions, execute and validate. Uh, I will give you a link where you can see more about um, like how to do it. But, uh, so if you want to implement an account contract with StarNet using account construction, you have a nice chance of winning. So, so I will give you the, the sources where you can learn how to do it. But basically, account construction is changing all the blockchain ecosystem. Uh, not only for the hackathon, but I think that it's good for for you, if you want to stay in, in the blockchain ecosystem building account abstraction, it's very cool. You can use uh, other types of signing transactions, not only signing using the Stark elliptic core that we use in StarNet, you can also use other elliptic cores such as Ethereum, Bitcoins, uh, the elliptic core used in your cell phone, in your iPhone, in your Android. So this makes transactions very, very secure. So it's, it's the next level of security for, 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 for wallets. So I think it's a, also a good opportunity, and it's not that hard to use. I, I think that you can implement it. I will show you where you can learn about it. Also, if you want to create a autonomous worlds or on-chain games, we have Dojo, which is, I, I'm forgetting the, the name of the uh, Moot, Moot, Moot or Moot, the game building en engine in Solidity. So the equivalent is Dojo in StarNet. So we have a lot, a lot of hackers right now uh, that know Dojo that can support you on how to build games or autonomous worlds in StarNet. So you can use Dojo. You can use GSA if you're interested in on-chain machine learning. So they have several issues and I can, I can also connect you with the, with the people from GSA in case you want to, to, to implement something with their framework so they can support you. So machine learning with, with zero knowledge, very cool. Herodotus is also, we have them here also, so if you want to use them to do storage proofs, like a proof ownership of an L1 asset on layer two, you can also do it. Kakarot, which is also a zero knowledge EVM on top of StarNet, so it's also interesting, and we have the guys here. So uh, 
there's a lot of stuff that you can that you can choose from what to build. Uh, um, basically, I will, I will share you a link. So the the link on the on the left is the Starnet book, which is your uh, if you want a good chance of winning the hackathon, you can follow the Starnet book, which is on the left. The Cairo book will be if you want to get deeper into Cairo, which I don't think you will have a lot of time if you don't know Cairo yet. But uh, with the basics of, basics of Cairo, you can build a kind of structure and that, and that kind of stuff, and we can also help you. But if you want to go in, into Cairo, you can also check the Cairo book. So the left one is the Starnet book, and this is the Cairo book. And from the Starnet book, you can go into the Getting Started chapter. It's the chapter number one. And you can basically use Remix as uh, Remix and open sampling contracts as if, as if you were coding with Solidity. So this is Remix. And here in Remix, I have a, a small smart contract called Ownable. It's a simple smart contract. This is Cairo. Uh, I won't go into the details of Cairo right now, but it's not that hard. I think most of you can already, as hackers, you can already know what, what is happening. We have a trait that is an interface. So it basically defines two functions, transfer ownership and get owner. It receives these arguments. And then it returns this one. It's uh, very intuitive if you're a developer, which I think most of you are. Then we have the actual smart contract. This is an event. This is the definition of an event. Then we have the storage, constructor, and the external functions, the read and write functions. It's basically exactly the same concepts as with Solidity and Ethereum. So nothing new. The new thing here is the syntax. And you can code your, your smart contract here in Remix, and you can deploy it from here. You can compile it from here. So you, if you know how to use Remix, that's all you need. So for example, here, what I'm going to do is go into the plugin of a Starnet. You can go into plugins, Starnet. Here's the plugin from a Starnet. You can activate it. And then you will have this. So I can compile my contract. Compile contract. So it's compiling to Sierra, which is kind of like a jewel from, 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 from Cairo. It will give you a couple warnings. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. And it's compiling it, and yeah, it's compiled. Now we can deploy it. You can, your project can be on DevNet or can be on testnet, however you want. But for example, now I will deploy it on testnet, sorry, on DevNet. Well, let's do it in testnet, let's try it. So I will go to test accounts. Uh, uh, uh. Well, you can deploy your own account here using account instruction, by the way. But I'm not looking, I am not seeing the option to connect my met my argent. Well, no problem. I will deploy it locally here on the on the DevNet. So basically, I will go into environment. Uh, 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 damn, I don't know where where the DevNet options. I, I don't like very much the remix in uh, how it looks. I think it's kind of confusing. But environment, ah, okay, here's the remote DevNet. Let me try again, wallet. Ah, okay, okay, now I can with wallet. I don't know what's, why it wasn't appearing to me. So I can choose my Argent. I need to set up my... I don't know why it's, why it's occupying the whole of my my screen. Sorry, just a second. I will disconnect the. Sorry for these technical problems. Sorry, just a second, I'm just trying to debug this live. But basically what you can do is deploy it on the testnet. I will show you in a minute. And then you can, you can 
uh, start interactive with it. You, everything that you need will be in the start notebook. So Remix is being not nice today for me. Okay, let me make a second try. Okay, now I think I can. Okay. Perfect. If you can, uh, sorry for the brief technical issues. I cannot, I don't know if, I updated my Mac to Sonoma today, today if I, I know if it's the problem. I cannot move it here, but I can move it there. Well, I will do it like this. Well, basically what you, you have here your remix and then, and I cannot click. You know, I was excited about Sonoma, but I mean, No, it's not, it's not working my computer. Sorry for that, folks. Uh, well, I have a couple more minutes. So, so the problem here is that I updated my MacBook yesterday to the new Sonoma, so big mistake. I think you, will, you need always to wait <laughs> a couple versions. But if you have any questions, let me know right now. Uh, we can do questions. Uh, my computer is not, will not work on time. But tell me, do you have any questions? I can provide you more resources on the booth. We have a booth. And yes, again, as a summary, you have a big chance of winning a Starnet prize. Uh, for those that just came, we have uh, four prizes, 10K in total, for about five to six submissions, usually. So you have a big chance of winning something with the Starnet. So get into it, try it, and yes, let me know. We are several developers from Star Wars and the Starnet Foundation. We are there in the in the boot, so let me know and we can help you in whatever you need. Uh, you have any question? Sorry for, for, the, for the issues here. Any questions on Starnet? Cairo? Huh? Okay, I will, I, if you can come, I can also show you how to create an account contract using account structure, so, yep. Thank you. <laughs>